नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर टेंथ एम सी क्यू टेंथ वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज वेयर वी शैल बी सॉल्विंग ऑन एम सी क्यू बेस्ड ऑन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट एंड द दी ब्रॉय वेव लेंथ ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव फ्रॉम द पेपर इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट द दी ब्रॉय वेव लेंथ ऑफ द एमिटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन इज लैमडा बी द एनर्जी ऑफ द फोटोन इंसिडेंट ऑन द मेटल इज फाइव टाइम्स द वर्क फंक्शन इफ एच इज द प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एम ई इज द मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन वॉट इज द वर्क फंक्शन ओके सो लेट इज अज्यूम दैट द वर्क फंक्शन इज फाइव लेट इज दैट दैट्स अ स्टैंडर्ड सिंबल फॉर वर्क फंक्शन ओके ना वॉट आर दिस energy of the photon incident on the metal is 5 times the work function okay so energy e of the photon will be 5 times the work function 5 5 5 times now out of this energy what fraction will be utilized for the electron to come out of the metal that is equal to the work function okay so the energy of the emergent electron what we call a photo electron okay what will that be that will be 5 phi minus phi or that will be 4 phi okay 4 phi and this is also the kinetic energy okay this is also the kinetic energy of the electron isn't it fine so that's kinetic energy so this is one relation 4 phi is equal to kinetic energy okay now let us try to bring in the de broglie wavelength that is lambda b what is lambda b we know that lambda is always h by p where h is the planck's constant given in the problem h is the planck's constant and p is the momentum of the particle so lambda b must be h by p and therefore p that is the momentum linear momentum must be h upon lambda okay h upon lambda b all right now what is the kinetic energy kinetic energy is actually p squared by 2m and let me use uh, me because it is electron so this is a formula which you know from mechanics or rather we which you should know from mechanics otherwise you can derive it very easily you have to square mv so that will be m squared v squared and if you divide it by 2me you'll get half me v squared that is the formula for kinetic energy okay now why did we do this okay we did it because we wanted to include or bring in the lambda b part okay so now what i'm going to do is we have this 4 phi here which is the kinetic energy okay and that i'm going to equate that with this okay so pay attention 4 phi is equal to kinetic energy which is p squared by 2 me therefore work function phi will be p square divided by this 4 will now sit here in the denominator so 8 into me but what is p p is uh, h upon lambda b correct so let us now substitute it so p squared will be h squared upon lambda b squared so 8 me lambda p squared 8 me lambda b squared in the denominator 8 me lambda b squared in the denominator in fact all four options differ only in the constant in the denominator and that is 8 the right one 10 12 and 4 are not going to work so 55 option a 